now we will discuss the differential analysis of fluid flow and uh, really this is the uh, main uh, source of, of uh, fluid flow governing equations that exist and that are taken to be in the in the to, to solve all problems that are related to fluid flow whatever we have discussed and whatever problems occur in fact uh, what we call as navier stokes equation they are supposed to govern generally a generalized form of equations of fluid flow motion for newtonian fluids for non newtonian fluids there are more complicated equation but uh, th these are the equations that we are going to develop as well as we are going to discuss them discuss uh, different aspects of these equations develop them and see their applications also and in this case we start normally with uh, development of uh, developing the uh, equations of continuity then we will discuss uh, momentum equation Euler's equation and the general the most generalized form among this set of uh, problems as the what we call as navier stokes equation and then we will also consider applications of the uh, above equations as well as how they are applied and how the problems are solved by using these equation and then we will consider special cases also because uh, all these equations have different implication different aspects different boundary conditions and all these things play uh, an important role in solution of fluid flow motion as you can guess and in fact you may be little bit familiar with continuity equation is basically the conservation what we call as reflecting the conservation of mass the momentum equation reflects the conservation of momentum Euler, Euler's equation is a equation of motion that that reflects the uh, momentum equation but for kind of real fluids and we assume uh, for non real for a, uh, ideal fluids in which we consider as if the we are considering a fluid flow in which uh, there is no viscosity now normally it does not happen all real viscosity will have some value and if it has some value then viscosity is there so we cannot say a fluid is non viscous but what happen is that the viscosity is so small compared to the other forces that are acting for example there is velocity for example there is a force acceleration the time variation and similarly uh, other things and therefore uh, the viscosity therefore compared to those forces can be ignored and we can safely assume that uh, in an ideal flow uh, there is no viscosity and uh, we have also seen that in cases such as that and we will discuss them when we come to it that the results obtained from the solution of Euler's equation is quite, quite uh, realistic uh, they matches the real situation uh, given that the conditions that has been assumed are also met in those cases Navier-Stokes equation is a general form of equation in which uh, all forces particularly the viscous forces are considered and they cannot be neglected but the problem with the navier stokes equations are they are nonlinear equation and nonlinear equations are difficult to solve uh, to the uh, extent that till today a unique solution to these equations 
have not been obtained. So we only uh, obtain uh, somehow simplified or restricted solutions under restricted constraints or conditions and a generalized solution is not available. And then in, uh, because of this problem, in some cases we consider as some of the special cases that pertain to this, uh, the, the application of uh, Navier-Stokes equation. Uh, because uh, viscosity and the nonlinearity that is there in the equation uh, plays an important role and makes it difficult to solve. And to, to solve it even, a uh, lot of uh, uh, use of computational methods is also used uh, f using finite element methods and other computer, uh, computational techniques are used to solve very complicated problems. And they have been, uh, they have produced good, good and useful results. The questions of fluid dynamics, uh, the physical meaning of the terms in the equations of fluid dynamics. So, every term that is involved there, we have already discussed it so many times that I don't think we need to go over it again. For example, that uh, a fluid will have mass, it will have density, there will be time definition and so on. And then they are derived from the basis of the uh, very well-known uh, Newton's second law of motion uh, known as F is equal to MA. The force is equal to mass into acceleration. Uh, and from that, the governing equations of motion are derived. The fluids that follow Newton's law that work under F is equal to MA, they are known as Newtonian fluids. The fluid and, and many most fluids uh, follow under uh, this category. But uh, there are non-Newtonian fluids where the Newton's law is not applicable. Newton's second law of motion is not applicable. And the example of this is, uh, for example, uh, in, in elastoplastic material, uh, like in paste, then they are fluids and not fluids. And somehow, if the forces are applied, then the force is not proportional to acceleration. And therefore, the Newton's law is not for and therefore different techniques are used to solve them. For the moment, we are not considering that. We are considering only the, those fluids, the, that kind of fluid motion, which, is, which follow uh, Newton's laws of motion. We uh, talk about the control volume analysis. When we are considering a particular fluid flow, then of course we can't cover the whole fluid flow area where it is moving. So we pick up a typical volume of fluid uh, that is uh, that that typically represents the fluid. Now there are two types of uh, things that the, the way we can attack this problem. One is by choosing the control volume and the other is by control surface.